So selalunya kalau kita, dia ada dua cara tau uh, sensor ni Either you uh, mix things together with the solution uh, Hello? Okay uh, Ataupun you drop uh, a small volume Okay? During incubation times So needs you to uh, resuspend mixing without any stirring The analyte must rely on cushion to reach the sensor surface So kalau is, this one is tak ada problem uh, Kalau using affinity Biasanya affinity kalau macam antibody dengan antigen Dia akan specific binding Affinity binding Sama juga macam DNA, DNA hybrid sebab that one, hybridization <laughs> Saya dengar suara lah Nanti, nanti jangan kacau apa Diam Doktor ni Oh, Doktor Nasrul <laughs> Dr. Nasrul, Dr. Nasrul kena ni kot uh, tutup audio Okay Tak apa Okay Saya pun dua demak Nak bagi kelas online ni Okay so kiranya tiga belum empat Siapa yang tak ada Okay, uh, we continue our slide. Uh, okay, the analyte will have to rely on diffusion for the last stage of its journey to the immobilized receptor. So the immobilized re receptor either the KIT side of the transducer. So kita ada immobilized receptor. So analyte, target analyte will bind to the immobilized receptor. So According to this one, rely on diffusion, so affinity binding. That is because around every stationary surface, uh, which is immersed in a liquid, uh, there is a stagnant layer, stationary film of liquid. So, uh, for incubation, oh, patutlah sekejap eh. Baru saya tahu kenapa kelip-kelip. Oh, okay. So, Uh, untuk antibody ataupun uh, untuk kita punya bioreceptor either antibody ke, enzyme ke, DNA, uh, probe uh, we need uh, in aqueous forms for in the incubation time that's why uh, baru reaction happen okay, in the liquid form in this case tak ada masalah untuk biomolecules in the liquid form sebab kita pun resuspend in the sum buffer untuk dia bagi, bagi reaction tapi masalah kita sebab kita menggunakan transducer kita dalam elektronik okay so kita kena cari equilibration between two both ni uh, organic dengan inorganic so inorganic substance is the transducer is that and the organic substance is a bioreceptor and the interaction with the antigen so that's uh, some kind of problem when you are using biosensor sebab kalau biosensor biasanya either you immerse uh, your punya transducer dalam solution ataupun you drop uh, dia ada dua cara okay uh, sebab kita nak minimiskan penggunaan solution uh, volume of uh, solution that yang kita nak drop atau so ataupun kita nak immerse so that's why uh, we are prefer using uh, less than 10 microlit of uh, target analyte okay this is the advantage of using biosensor instead of using molecular approach. Okay. So kalau molecular approach macam yang sekarang ni COVID uh, kita masih rely on real time PCR. So ada juga yang mengatakan uh, menggunakan kit 
biosensors when dia orang guna bukan kit biosensor dia orang guna electro flow okey macam pregnancy test that one ada yang menyatakan bahawa menggunakan kit tersebut tidak uh, reliable compare dengan real time PCR in this case uh, you need to know uh, what is advantage of using real time PCR or the advantage on using the electro flow kit yang guna ni sebab kit ni uh, menggunakan yang saya dah ajar kan uh, dia orang guna membrane sama ada nitrocellular membrane ataupun PPDF so in this case the membrane itself as a trans uh, dia gunakan untuk detection so sometimes dia punya masalah adalah pada antibody tersebut uh, okay problem. So sebab tu Malaysia still rely menggunakan real time PCR, real time polymerase chain reaction. Tapi result tu dapat lambat lah. Ha, okay. Okay. Tapi sensitivity kalau compare uh, RTK kit ni, sense, uh, RTK kit yang menggunakan electro flow tu compare dengan real time PCR, real time PCR lebih sensitif sebab kita detect Uh, virus tu, RNA virus. Compare dengan RTP kit ni kita detect dia punya antibody based on the protein. Okay, interaction. Protein yang telah diekspreskan. So in this case, uh, how the, if the analyte diffuse more slowly through this layer that it can find on the surface then the biosensor is efficient limited. So ada juga kekangan dalam this biosensor actually. Okay. So kalau kamu tengok dalam gambar radar slide ni uh, ada sensor surface uh, tran as a transducer so kita immobilizekan dengan kita punya we immobilize which uh, uh, antibody or DNA probe ataupun enzyme it depends apa yang kita what we prefer what if you refer to uh, to check whether we want to use protein itself, want to use antibody. So the stagnant film, here we can see the stagnant film here. Uh, basically, uh, salah satu one of the method we are using prior gel as a stagnant film here. Yeah. So the analyte molecule in bulk solution, so they, we, they will immobilize, mean uh, binding to the immobilize layer. Okay. So this is the calculation of the diffusion rate across the film. So kalau kita tengokkan uh, biosensor ni kita ada limit of detection, uh, sensitivity limit, uh, tu paling penting. Uh, selectivity tiga ni. LOD, sensitivity, selectivity test and one repeatability and also we need to repeatability uh, consider part tu yang penting okay uh, so the simplest case to consider a thin film which is planar okay uh, micro scale as always the rate of mass transfer of material across the surface depends on driving force concentration difference so that's why dalam sensitivity kita, uh, you, we are using different concentration of target and light but we are constant kita uh, tetapkan dia punya uh, immobilized uh, concentration of immobilized probe okay the area of the surface uh, active area and coefficient which describe the transfer rate within the surface when the rate of diffusion or we call it as a mass transfer per unit of film can be given in these equations. So kalau kamu tengok equation ni, dia ada uh, the mass, KD is the mass transfer coefficient, CB and CS concentration. Uh, okay pasal equation ni saya akan, kita nanti buat tutorial lah sikit sebab so, nak cover macam mana kita nak guna equation ni dalam peni, uh, calculation of 
mass transfer between the immobilized probe and also the target analyte. Okay, for a given surface area, uh, means active site, it's evident that the mass transfer rate is greatest when the KD is large. So KD tadi adalah the mass transfer coefficient. So the concentration difference uh, is large. Which the rate of binding attempt to measure low concentration of analyte which are often desirable are not favored by inclusion. Since uh, CB will be low, give me a small driving force. Okay, set. Let me read the comment. <laughs> okay, so uh, target analyte kita selalunya untuk biosensor, kenapa kita kena nak detect uh, low concentration of analyte? Because sometimes uh, for biosensor, we want to eliminate uh, using PCR. Okay? PCR is uh, stand for polymerized chain reaction to amplify the gene. Okay? Somehow ada juga biosensor yang still uh, kita amplify the gene. Contoh kamu uh, ada virus corona. Okay? Kamu isolate daripada sampel, daripada human, ambil tapi kamu tak boleh dapat detect. Okay, sebab concentration virus tu even dissipate, they still available to infect in your um, human. That's why macam human ni host. So dia boleh replicate dalam tu. So bila kita isolate uh, coronavirus ni, so kita dapat amount low concentration. That's why we are using PCR untuk amplifikan uh, gene virus tersebut. Tapi uh, untuk biosensor, ada juga yang still uh, depends on the PCR. But why we are using biosensor? Because we want to eliminate the use of polymerase chain reaction to amplify the gene. So in this case, we need to make sure in the before we proceed to the real uh, real sample, so we are using the synthetic target. Synthetic target means the same as uh, the same as uh, macam yang dalam real sample, tapi kita tak isolate. Uh, kita beli. Selalunya kita akan beli yang synthetic ni ataupun dapatkan target sequence tu, kita design sendiri. Uh, actually, it's my making the real one. Okay? Untuk dapatkan low concentration of analyte, uh, usually we are preferring for biosensor is femtomolar. Okay, that's why the, with the rate of binding attempt to measure low concentration of analyte. Okay. Kalau ada apa-apa pertanyaan, uh, boleh eh. Puan Z. Sebab kadang-kadang uh, guna Google Meet ni pun hmm, dia boleh patah balik. Okay. Okay, the mass transfer, transfer coefficient either the film thickness, okay, diffusion coefficient, diffusivity, uh, diffusivity of the analyte in the films. Okay, kalau sebelum saya proceed, uh, kalau ada apa pertanyaan boleh letak kat chat lah. Kamu faham tak? Fatima. So kalau tak ada respon dekat chat saya teruskan je eh. Okay. Okay. Uh, does a thick film decrease while a high diffusivity favors diffusion through the layer? So in this case, uh, if a membrane has been used uh, in the construction of the sensor, So setakat yang saya tunjuk kat kamu adalah uh, IDE ataupun FTT That one guna silicon membrane, uh, silicon uh, wafer So dalam ni construction ada juga yang menggunakan membrane Okay, dia terpulang. Banyak sensor translucent ni dia banyak Dia punya application And then dia banyak menggunakan different different layer of membrane So kita kena study jugalah 
apa ke dalam microfabrication apa kebaikan menggunakan tensor tersebut okey uh, then there will be a mass transfer equation for diffusion across the membrane in addition to that stagnant film usually the resistant okey resistant of the membrane biasanya kalau sensor dia boleh guna sama ada resistant ataupun conductant So the resistance ni of the membrane is to diffusion is more than stagnant film. So kalau resistance macam kita bioreceptor tu uh, ada sebagai uh, resistant kita. So bila ada binding, okay. Uh, kenapa kita boleh measure uh, biomolecules because of dia ada negative charge and also kalau for DNA dia ada negative charge sahaja pada phosphate bond back uh, backbone okay untuk DNA RNA means nucleotide kalau untuk protein dia ada dua maksudnya dia ada charge positif dia ada charge negatif juga okay tu perbezaan di antara uh, DNA genetic uh, genetic uh, information dengan protein okay so dari segi kelebihan itulah kita boleh menggunakan measure sama ada sensor tu as a conductor or resistant. So kalau conductor dia punya akan meningkat naik. So dari segi current voltage, okay? Kalau resistant dia akan semakin menurun. That's the uh, macam mana nak cakap eh? So, selalu kalau selalu kita akan measure dia punya current voltage Okay, current versus voltage untuk sensor So if the membrane has a much greater resistance to diffusion Then the, the diffusion in stagnant film can be enough for modeling purpose So in this case is applied to the resistance only The resistance of the membrane Okay, membrane including the bioreceptor Kejap saya tak minum air So, uh, rate of electron transfer So, consider of electron transfer from a donor species D to an acceptor species A in solution So, kalau kamu tengok ni dia punya mekanism So, D plus A So, D plus charges plus A minus. So kalau sebelum ni saya ajar carboxylic group dia akan jadi COO minus daripada COOH uh, akan jadi COO minus and amine group daripada NH2 dia akan become NH3 plus dia accept the electron. Okay. So daripada situ kamu boleh guna persamaan ni untuk uh, check rate of electron transfer. Ini kita belajar dalam biochem. Kan? Dalam biochem kita ada belajar kan pasal ni. So saya nak kamu recall balik. Okay, in the first step mechanism, DNA must diffuse through the solution and collide to form a complex DNA which the don uh, donor and acceptor are separated by the distance comparable to R. Okay, the distance between the edges of each species. Okay. Okay. So we, uh, we assume that D A and D A Uh, binding are in equilibrium. Okay, so kalau dalam equilibrium, so dia akan uh, according to this one, jadi macam sama macam ni. So where there is and K uh, are respectively the rate constant for the association and dissociation. Association means bergabung. Dissociate, dia pecah. Actually this one become reversible kalau untuk enzyme complex. Antigen antibody boleh tak bertindak macam enzyme? 
ha, Itu salah satu yang saya nak kamu Baca balik pasal enzyme complex, enzyme and substrate complex dengan antigen antibody complex is totally different okay next the electron transfer occurs within the da complex to yield d plus a minus so kalau dalam antigen antibody because of dia ada dua maksudnya carboxylic group and also dia ada amine group by the anti antibody sites okay so dia akan jadi sama yang macam tu pula untuk pengiraan So okay, it is the first or direct constant for the forward electron transfer step Okay Takpelah yang ni nanti kita buat dalam tutorial kelas Nanti saya akan bagi contoh macam mana nak kira Okay, sebab so, ni teori Ilham tinggi sifat, okay soalan daripada <laughs> so, Chong tanya, okay refer to stagnant film or membrane or immobilized receptor Nanti saya jawab, okay Chong <laughs> Okay, saya habiskan dulu ni sebab uh, Kamu punya, ni nanti saya akan note the, uh, ni Okay. okay, the factor that determine the rate of electron transfer reaction in solution Assume the main decay rate for the A, E plus A is the dissociation of the complex into separated ions This follow this one So the rate of product formation is controlled by diffusion of DNA in a solution Which foster formation of the A complex, okay This is the, we can see that uh, and the process is controlled by the activation energy of electron transfer in the DA complex, either DA complex, okay? So, they are binding together. So, theory of electron transfer, they are the rubber. So, they are the dual theory. So, uh, one electron are transferred by tunneling to a potential energy barrier determined by the ionization energies of D A and D plus A minus complex. Electron tunneling are influence the magnitude of KB. Okay, the complex D A and the solvent molecule surrounding is undergo structural rearrangement prior to electron transfer. So the energy associated with this rearrangement and the standard reaction uh, chips energy determine the changes of the opening symbol tu. Okay? So macam uh, kalau according to this diagram so you can see that uh, electron tunneling so like classical physics uh, we climbing the hill And according to Frank Cordon principle, electronic transition are so fast. They can be regarded as taking place in stationary nuclear frameworks. This principle also applies to D A and become D plus A minus. Okay, this is the quantum physics tunneling. So there are either uh, increase and decrease of uh, according to the energy itself. Okay. The Gibbs energy surface of complex D A and D plus A minus involved in electron transfer process as represented in diagram below. So kalau kamu tengok uh, Gibbs energy dia ada dua sama ada D A complex uh, so dia ada juga dalam D plus A minus complex. Ini nanti kita akan Uh, dalam tutorial nanti saya akan buat satu jam untuk tutorial untuk kita buat ni dalam calculation, okay? The nuclear do not have time to move when the system pass from the reactant to the product surface as a result of electron transfer. Therefore, electron transfer can occur only after thermal fluctuation. Bring the geometry 
of the A to Q. The value of nuclear coordinate at which the two parabola intersects. So dari sini kalau kamu lihat sama ada dalam uh, DA punya ni so yang intersect ni okay the value of nuclear at which the two parabola intersects bertemu okay so gives energy versus displacement okay this is one uh, okay Ini nanti saya akan terangkan detail dalam kita punya tutorial. Saya akan buat tutorial. Okay. Okay, so reference kamu boleh tengok. Ya. Yeah. Ada buku pasal yang memang berkaitan dengan biosensor and bioelectric. Kamu boleh refer kat situ. Okay. Kejap buku tu saya ada tapi saya nanti saya cari balik. Okay, ada apa persoalan? Soalan Chong nanti saya jawab balik. Uh, okay. Tutorial. Okay, so quiz. Boleh tak kita buat quiz esok? Tapi quiz tu tak masuk lah chapter ni. Quiz tu masuk chapter yang 1, 2, 3 yang saya cakap sebelum ni. Boleh kan? Uh. Sebab quiz tu patutnya quiz yang uh, Google Saya buat kat Google Drive hmm. Tapi uh, ada masa sejam uh, Soalan 10 soalan objektif 2 essay 2 uh, essay uh, macam tu lah lebih kurang 2 soalan So 10 markah 20 so 10 55 5. Seperti yang saya bincang sebelum PKP Okay So saya uh, Kamu nak buat quiz pukul berapa? Saya plan nak buat pukul tiga. Tiga hingga empat. Tapi masa, dia ada masa tu tau sebab saya guna Google Drive tu saya dah setkan masa tiga hingga empat sahaja. Uh, so siapa yang